Good morning, traders. Well, U.S. markets rose in Monday's session on a more positive tone in the banking sector, uh, following on from the UBS Swiss government bailout of Credit Suisse over the weekend, and also some news out of the U.S. of um, the, the government there backstopping some of the mid-sized banks, which have been struggling lately. Uh, this saw green across all the major indexes. NASDAQ probably the laggard, bond yields were rising, especially on the short end to catch up with um, Fed expectations, which is, is a negative for tech and growth stocks, which typically hold more debt. In FX, US dollar was weaker uh, as the markets turned risk on for the session. The euro was supported by efforts to limit the contagion of Credit Suisse. It's also kept comments from ECP, ECB President Lagarde that noted exposure to CS um, in the Eurozone banks is in the millions, not billions, which was seen as a positive for the Euro. Um, so the Euro US dollar up above 107, it's testing its March highs up there. Cyclical currencies uh, found tailwinds from a weaker dollar and, and a positive US session, it, with the exception of the Kiwi dollar. Now, the Kiwi seemed to be hit by Aussie New Zealand flows. It was at a level where it was attractive to be buying the Aussie and selling the Kiwi. Um, so this, that saw that pair get above the 107.5 level with the, the, great, the Aussie greatly outperforming the Kiwi dollar on improved risk sentiment. Uh, gold, uh, another roller coaster ride on that one last night so the it rallied above 2000 briefly um, which was a 12 month high but did retrace as the session went on on improved risk sentiment i've got a feeling it'll, it'll find it tough going above the 2000 level but we'll see how um risk sentiment goes over the next week or so to get an idea of where gold's going um oil was another one that turned around mid-session it was got as low as just above 64 before turning around on an improved risk sentiment as well. Um, that got up to a 67 handle and, and not far from the 68 level. Now, upcoming tonight, if you're a Canadian dollar trader, there is Canadian CPI where a moderation in inflation is expected. Um, so if you are trading the CAD, keep an eye on that one.